Welcome back to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, an ordinary guy. Okay, so this is gonna be part three of this door dent or part two of the patch panel, however you wanna see it. Anyways, uh, I got a little bit of prep work done on it. Um, it's just held in there with a couple of uh, clamps right now. So the plan is I trimmed right along here. That's a nice butt joint right there and down on the bottom down here there's a nice pretty nice butt joint down there so the plan is to tack a couple of tack welds a couple of tack welds and then take the body saw and get it in there and cut a little bit put a couple of tacks cut a little bit more put another tack or two cut a little bit more on and on and on down the thing well you know, taking my time and keeping everything cool as I do it, because I don't want to distort this any more than it has. It's got, it's still got some waves and stuff in it, but you know, it'll be fine. We'll figure, we'll figure it all out. So what I did here in cleaning this up, I can pull this off. I was just fitting it for those butt, for those butt uh, joints on the ends, but I. I went ahead and, and uh, cleaned up the inside, cleaned up the rust in there as, as best I could. It was just surface rust, and I got the uh, rust covering paint, whatever, that you, they say you could spray it right on rust. And so I, I roughed it all up, got all the loose stuff out, and kind of went over it a little bit. Did more prep than what it called for, and then I sprayed the inside of the door as best I could with that. I also talked about this little hump right here that I got out pretty much. It's not perfect, but it's it's got the door. Instead of being like this, it's now straight again. So that, that works out pretty good. Um, the other thing was got this panel here. I sprayed it on the back, talked to my sheet metal dude, and he said to leave the paint back about a half an inch. So that way, you know, when I weld it, I'm not burning paint. And then I could probably reach in there once this is together and, and spray it if I need to. Um, the other thing I did was I went ahead and punched some holes, or not punched, I drilled some little holes on the end here so that way when I get it on there and bend this around the, the in, inner part of the door, I can put little, uh, um, little spot welds in there to hold it all together. This was the inner piece that sits on the inside from the skin. So when I cut it down here with the grinder, this is what was left and it had a little spot weld. So I just worked them down a little bit with the grinder and worked it off, cleaned it up. And I painted that inside there a little bit. Not, I mean, just enough to, to take care of the rust. And so I think I'm ready. So my next step is gonna be to tack this or get this back on and start tacking it and, and cutting it. So uh, hang on, here we go. All right, I'm gonna line this up a little bit more. I'm just kind of scared to mess it up, so really pussyfooting my way around it. I think I can do a couple tacks down here too. I think I'm ready for it. So 
Here's what happens. That alignment looks really, really good. I'm kind of, I blew through the metal here a little bit. I'm gonna have to, like I said, sheet metal isn't my deal. I don't, haven't welded very much sheet metal and doing one on an outside body panel has got me really nervous, but I'll make it happen. It'll work. So I'm gonna mess with this a little bit and then I'll come back and, and do some of the cutting. Once I get past being so nervous, it'll probably start coming out better. Probably right about the time I get to the bottom, I'll be comfortable. <laughs> That's how it goes. All right, next step. All right, well, I'm making headway, and I gotta tell you, you know, um, the videos make it look easy. This is not easy, you know? And, and the thing is, is, is I'm not a welder. I've been welding on and off for a lot of years but really I'm not a welder and I never quite know who's going to show up to work when I start welding if it's going to be the good me or the not so good me and uh, the sheet metal's kind of tricky you know so I got a little bit of both of me showing up right now but uh, anyways I'm just putting it out there and I'm just showing you as is like I said in many of my videos before I am no expert I'm just trying to knuckle my way through this and figure it out so it pretty much has come out all right. I, what I did was I came in, I don't have my saw down here. Oh, here it is. You know, I, I got it a couple of tacks, a couple of tacks, and then I cut a little bit and tacked, cut a little bit more and tacked, cut a little bit more, and then I'm kind of going back and forth, but it keeps wanting to blow through in spots, so I'm having to take it really, really slow. And I got kind of a, uh, instead of having a, a high spot, I got a low spot through here now. So I'm trying to go slow. It looks like I've been hammering at it, but really I'll, I'll, I'll do a few tacks and then I let it cool down and I come back and do a few tacks. And I think my problem right in here, this whole section right here, there's, the metal's a little bit rusty. I mean, it's solid. It'll hold a magnet and everything, but it's a little bit and I think that's why it's blowing through right there as bad as it is. So, but, and it's got a low, whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna keep at it and uh, get it going. So like I said, you know, I'm trying to figure this out as I, as I go along. So um, bear with me and you know, there will be an end product. Hopefully it'll be good. <laughs> so anyways, back at it. All right, so that's going to be a wrap on this. Uh, got my dog here. There he is. Say hi, Spike. Anyways, uh, I worked my way through all of the um, all of the crappy spot right in here and the crappy spot right in there. And basically, what I did was uh, I, I looked under in the welder. When you flip up the side, it tells you your heat range and your wire speed. And for the 18 gauge is what I was using and. I found that if I dropped it down a notch on the heat range, 
and, and bumped it up a little bit on the wire speed, it worked a lot better. And also once I got a spot, one spot weld, then I just overlapped on that one and just kind of, you know, laid them, staggered them, not staggered them, but laid them on top of one another. So do a small section, do a small section, do a small section, and it came out pretty good. It's a little bit of a low spot in here, but I'll, uh, I'll figure that out. I'm gonna ask my buddy about the one that cut the panel for me, what I can do, if I can get that out or not. But anyways, other than that, it came out pretty good. I, I, I would suggest, you know, I mean, if you're thinking about something like this, give it a shot, man. This is my first time doing it, you know, and, and it just takes patience, you know. A good friend of mine said body work is an act of patience, you know, and good thing I got a lot of it. So, but anyways, thanks a lot. Thanks for subscribing to the new subscribers. Make sure you tell your friends and comment, like, share, and do all of that. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, everybody stay safe, and we'll see you next time.